Well, we had a couple mini catastrophes this morning. One of them is that Jason threw Miles the water bottle to catch, which that probably wasn't a good choice in itself. Miles didn't catch it and it shot part way across the lake. So Jason scooted out. You can see his bum marks right there on this log and is trying to retrieve the water bottle without going into the frozen lake. Oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> the other catastrophe this morning, they both involved miles. Gee, interesting. Your shoe started catching on fire, the rubber on your shoe, and you had to go douse it in the snow. I wouldn't toss that around. You don't want to lose it in the lake again. So, Jason's getting himself back and trying not to slip in. This frozen lake is trippy. Oh my. And we're trying to get our water filtered, which is happening quite slowly. So we're working on getting out of here this morning. It's quite a bit later than we were hoping. It's just over 10 a.m. I'm getting a shake of the head from Jason. But uh, we worked everything out. We uh, dispersed our fire coals. And um, the kids, the report is they all slept really well. Hey, you guys can start hiking. I'll catch up to you. Um, so the kids all slept really well, really warm. Jason put an emergency blanket on over the top of his sleeping bag inside the tent, like in the middle of the night to try to get some more heat because both of our feet um, was kind of cold. So, but um, I guess the emergency blanket really helped. The problem was, hey, Archie, Archie, follow daddy. The problem was that in the morning, his, um, the top of his sleeping bag was all wet because I guess the emergency blanket uh, keeps the moisture in. And so his sleeping bag is all, the top of it's all wet. So we laid it across the log next to the fire and we're hoping that it kind of dried out. And um, yeah, we had a couple of catastrophes with um, water bottles going across the lake and yeah, we, but otherwise things went well. Oh, we got a, we sprung a bit of a leak in our water filter. I think maybe because of the cold water um, or putting too much pressure on it, not sure. So um, yeah, we're gonna, at least we brought two water filters. That's, it's good to have backup when you're going somewhere this cold because you never know what's gonna happen. Um, I tried something last night. I was determined to put, um, a hot rock that bordered the fire um, to figure out a way to put it um, to use it to keep us warm in the tent so I thought why don't I put it in a beanie well I was trying to think what I could put it in because obviously it was like super hot so I thought why don't I put it in a beanie um, to insulate it but Jason was saying oh it's gonna burn the beanie oh it's gonna burn whatever you can't do that and um, apparently I'm an experimental experiential learner so I had to see for myself so I took a beanie that was a really cheapy beanie that I have so I didn't care too much about it and I tried it and it felt great at first and then started smelling and looked and it totally burned up the inside of my beanie put a hole in it all of that so that's garbage so that didn't work so I'm still kind of like trying to figure out hey how could we harness the heat from the fire and the hot rocks and use it to warm us I'm not sure because I don't want to test it out with anything else that could possibly burn. Um, but uh, yeah, we're kind of learning by trial and error. We had eggs and bacon this morning and hot chocolate and coffee, which was amazing. And we're heading out on the trail. Our goal is to get to another lake to spend the night. Um, but it's pretty slow going hiking in this snow because it's a lot of places it's icy. And so we have to go really slow because it's very slippery. Um, so we did almost right around four miles yesterday to get to this lake. Um, but we started about noon ish, maybe one. And we stopped at like 
three or four. So um, we're hoping to maybe hike twice as many miles to get to the next lake, but we're not sure if it starts getting dark, we're gonna have to call it early and um, just hope we can make it with the water we have for dinner and all that. So we're gonna see. So we just crossed a river a little bit ago and there are lots of rocks and not a lot of water flowing. I imagine if there's a lot of snow melt, it'd be harder to cross that river. And we were hiking on a side for a while that was dirt. Now we're back in the snow. And what's particularly slippery is there are worn footsteps, which is nice because it makes it really easy to follow the trail. Otherwise it would have been pretty tricky, but um, the part that makes it slippery is when it's kind of turned to mush because of all the footsteps and then refrozen and then it's like ice. So I think, I think maybe everybody in our group, I'm not sure about Jason, but I feel like everybody else at one point or another has slipped on their bum. I know I did. Totally fell on my backside. That was yesterday. But today feels warmer, so I'm hoping that it won't be quite as slippery today. And I don't know if I told you yet, but yesterday was Thanksgiving. So we had a very non-traditional Thanksgiving. I could have done a recipe that Jason found somewhere, like a one-pot Thanksgiving meal, where you mix up mashed potatoes and stuffing and cranberry sauce. And I saw that and I said, no, thank you. It looked disgusting. So the kids had backpacker meal of lasagna because that's what we happened to have at home and we were rushing to get out of there. And we also happened to have top ramen. So Jason and I had a wonderful Thanksgiving top ramen and the kids lasagna. And this will be a Thanksgiving vacation to remember. Holy cow, guys, this is the view that we have right now. It is so gorgeous out here. So pretty. We just came over a little saddle, had to go up it, and now we are going down. Check out this view, it's amazing. Hey, Arch. Hi. 